a time, there was a fine young man traveling the seven seas. He was young, he was wild, and sometimes a bit impatient with the girls. One day, he met an old lady in a dark corner of a tavern. She had an apple. Eat this apple, she said. Eat this apple and you will get rid of all the problems you will have with girls. And so he did. He waited. He waited for the apple to take effect. But then he felt there was something terribly wrong. He stumbled. He tried not to fall, but the pain was unimaginable. And then... You didn't expect that. <laughs> For the crowd speakers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh hey, Dave. Hey. Oh, wait. It's forgotten. You can take that down. I get the entire double course. Yikes. We had not so good. Hello on Twitch. Hi. No sound. Oh, it's probably yeah. Probably your, your weak ass headphones, Dave. Is anybody yeah. else on Instagram getting sound? Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Uh, Dave's headphones are off. Yeah, it's probably Dave's headphones are off. Possibly. We're, we've never had a sound issue. We've never really had any technical problems on this show before. Nope. Um, <laughs> so. So yeah. <laughs> So yeah, uh, welcome to Question Block. This Hi. is the, the fantasy edition. Sound now, okay, good. Oh, good. The Did you hear our song? The okay, beginning awesome. of yes. your beginning of Thirty One Days of Halloween, and that intro there was uh, Unicorn. The song Unicorn, which is uh, an amazing song, because what actually happens in that song? It's not kick. They can hear it themselves. It's no, Unicorn but, by by no, Ty and the shoe. He said he goes and then yeah, but yeah. they don't get to know what happens. No, they'll have to go look up the and see what happened. Or the, watch the impatient young man who ate the apple in the tower. Or watch Rave Review because we you're probably gonna play that song. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then then that went into Fantasy by Mariah Carey, which is uh pretty much a song about unicorns and and pixies butterflies and butterflies. Yeah, and lambs. Yeah, we're both like um, checking each other checking out. out. Well, the hood Living is hard because it doesn't look like a unicorn. What do you mean your your you mean your head? Yeah. <laughs> my actual your head, is hard. head that I am wearing. Yeah. Your head that you have on your head. Yeah. A full court comedy. Get so in, um, get in tight or yeah. So exactly. so since we're we're in the thirty days of Halloween, we wanted to do. We wanted to start before it gets too spooky. We wanted to celebrate the lighter side of yes. mystical creatures that people like to dress up as. We did mm -hmm. as usual extensive research uh, in the and New York we... Public Library for this. We looked at a lot of microfiche. And original documents. But I, d I definitely looked at microfiche. Mm -hmm. I am a microfiche. <laughs> You're a microfiche. <laughs> uh, uh, um, I'm a, I mean, yeah, what we, are you? we actually became. Oh, we have to introduce ourselves. Yeah. Where you carried away. I am Arielist. Ariel.ist mm. on Instagram. Arielist.org. Yeah. Um, Arielist of the sea. Arielist of the sea and the Tonight. skies. Yeah. And I'm a mermaid. Um. Yes, these are my scales. Nice. I have my whole body has scales, actually. Yeah. Um. You can't see below the waist, but it's fishy. Yep, it's pretty. <laughs> this has got a lot of lot of organ. It's an organza extravaganza. Yes. <laughs> um. And I'm a a unicorn. Um. Also, one with wings, though. This. So way, maybe a Pegasus. A little bit? I'm kind of yeah. I'm a Pegasus unicorn. Yeah. Um, this is, they're the most special kind of unicorn. Um, yeah, I'm drinking this very sweet beer called Babka Loves Rugelach. And uh, yeah, as everyone knows, unicorns are pacified by virgins, which is why I'm hanging out with Aerialist here. Mm -hmm. but, Do you want to lay your head in my lap and go to <laughs> sleep for a moment? Yeah, that's what, that's what unicorns do. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's talk about a little bit about like all the mythical creatures, the main ones, so the main why players. You, why don't you talk about mermaids? Okay. Where are mermaids? So, Tell us about where mermaids as a are mermaid, from and what their deal is. Um, I descended from manatees. I, I expect our viewers to be getting in costumes so they can follow. Yeah. 
while this is happening. This is your dry run for Halloween or wet run, depending yep. how things go. But yeah, so yeah. mermaids what? I descended from manatees. Uh, a lot of sailors. <laughs> from manatees. Yeah, a lot of sailors thought that they saw manatees in the water, and they thought uh, they reported back that there were maidens that were half human, half fish, and they had beautiful voices that would. They had been at sea for a long time. Yeah. Right. It was like yeah. six weeks or eight oh, weeks God, to I get just had from a bad. in the UK. So. I just realized I'm like they probably those poor manatees. <laughs> yeah that's probably what happened the sailors probably had sex with the manatees and then they were like their beautiful music lured us but hold on before there were manatees weren't there sirens like as far back as the greeks yes and sirens were actually birds like oh yeah, yeah. a lot of people confuse sirens and mermaids but they're like nothing alike sirens were eagle like bird women mm -hmm. like body like eagle eag Eagle body so, for women. So the same thing, I guess. You're on a Greek ship that's crossing the Mediterranean for a couple of weeks, and they're like, those, those birds are gorgeous. They're yeah, let's singing. fuck it's them. Lord us in. And then, yeah. and then when your your friends uh, in the Mediterranean were like, did you fuck a bird? Yeah. You're like, yeah, but it had the head of a woman. It, yeah, it had the head of a woman. It was really hot. Yeah, it was, really it was hot, a really so hot it was bird, fine. and it lured, it lured me with its music. Yeah. Um, and then... Yeah, sometimes you get in a shipwreck yeah. and you blame it. It's like women who sleep with guys in bed. More like harpies. Right? Harpies, like though, are seal. I think harpies are like part seal, part, uh, oh, wow. part uh, woman. There's a lot of bestiality happening. A lot, um, yeah. yeah. A lot of people mixing up the animals, too. Christopher Columbus, though, he, he was an asshole, but he was pretty truthful. Like, he... In drew, his journal, he was He honest. drew a picture of a manatee, and he was like, these mermaids are, <laughs> like, pretty... They're, like... like the mermaids here are, are disgusting. They're, yeah, yeah he's like, they're gray. They, yeah. He did, in know. his diary. He's like, the mermaids are, are gray and quite fat <laughs> in this part of the world. Yeah, he's like... Uh, ooh, he's do like, not... Yeah, not really my like, I'm not really into them. More into just taking land yeah. from people. Let's go enslave some natives. Yep. That was a so, Whereas the unicorns. Oh, but one quick, oh, quick, quick, quick thing. Yeah. He, uh, people are super, still super into the idea that mermaids exist. Like the other mythical creatures, they're like, it would be cool if they did. But like mermaids, though, people are like, they exist. So they're famously was the animal was planet. Was it animal planet <laughs> produced a a like fake documentary called Mermaid Autopsy. Which we saw like clips of it, and it looks gross. There's a bunch of just blood and fish guts. Yeah. But they're like, we like discovered a mermaid, and this is the autopsy. A mermaid and it, skeleton. It was, and it was like very much a, like a War of the Worlds phenomenon, where like people tuned in after the first five minutes and missed a disclaimer, and there was like a mass hunt for unicorns. Or, mermaids. Sorry, mermaids. Yeah. Mostly in Florida. And there was a, there's a sequel to it. A sequel. Yeah. And then they did a sequel. Yeah. And then they had to be like, And again, sorry. everybody like lost their minds. And so. Yeah. But, but people, like, people are still stupid. They're like, yo, mermaids exist. Yeah. A hundred percent. As that commenter said, they were like, maybe this documentary was faked, but the sea is vast. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yes. And yes, like, queen. Very, very wise. Dream on. Um, yeah. and, and so you tell us about you. Who are you? So similar to uh, mermaids being a case of mistaken identity and sailors wanting to ha uh, have sex with uh, manatees. Not quite have sex, but uh, unicorns. Oh, what's up? They oh, think... yeah. If anyone has stuff they have to get to and they really need to go live with us at a certain time, you can totally interrupt us. Yeah. Just putting that out there. We're just telling facts yep. about ourselves. It's not a big deal. You interrupt, so, you interrupt me at any time. We'll, we'll talk yes. about you. Um, yeah. So, so uh, yeah, unicorns are just people were bad at describing rhinoceroses, and famously, a lot of like nope. medieval artists Guess just me. drew everything like a horse. Let's go live with Dave. Shall we? Yeah. Okay. Dave, you're trying to make icon. Hi. Yeah, oh, what's up? How's it going? Hello. Hey. Can you hear Can us? Can you hear us? <laughs> <laughs> you having problems? Do, oh. 
Oh no. He's got Oh my He's god. His camera That's around. okay. I was like, can you hear us? Oh yeah, can you are you got me? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we didn't see you. It was like like you guys were like way behind. Like when I opened the video, you guys went back like a minute and I was like, What's going oh, on? Oh oh no. Oh time travel. Yeah, nice. my, my tech is all screwy today, it looks like. Okay. We were like, uh -oh. Well, it's good to have a fellow fantasy buff. The reason I... What was that? It's good to have a fantasy buff. Yeah, I am. Uh, and, but it's good, by the way, I uh, thank you. Uh, it's like, yeah, so I gotta go get ready for the vice presidential debate. Yeah. At, at nine. Uh, so thanks for letting me jump in. Yeah, absolutely. We're so excited. Yeah. So we were talking about mythical creatures, but you can talk about your favorite fantasy movie or game or. Huh. Well, you know, when you were talking about the uh, sirens, they yeah. sounded a lot like harpies. Like, are they similar? Yeah. Because yeah. you said like the eagle, the bird. The bird. Um, so sirens, I think, are a bird, and I'm if I'm not mistaken, I, I feel like harpies are birds. Oh, harpies might be birds. Okay, they might be birds, and then there's oh kelpies. Those are seals. Kelpies, yes. Kelpies, that's what Kelpies. I thought. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, it, uh, it, it, but it's a lot of, like, just people drawing, you know, people drawing stuff and and uh, wanting their travels to seem very cool, I guess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they were like, look sure. Yeah, which, yeah, it sucks that we have, like, phones and stuff now. I mean, I guess we have, like, Photoshop. Mm -hmm. Things I mean, like that. It. Yeah. We should just start doing that, though. Be like, yo, I saw a mer You just, like, Photoshop, like, a mermaid. Well, You'd be like, I went to the Hudson River today, and I saw a mermaid. Here just, it is. Lots of people mermaid. do that. Yeah. yeah it would, you'd be famous very quickly. The New York we'll Post. those Photoshop experts to determine the fake. Yes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can tell by the pixels. This is not a real mermaid. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, okay, what's my favorite fantasy? Dude, that's, that's really hard. How about... Uh, like novels or author, favorite fantasy author. Fantasy. Oh. Mine is I mine is Neil Gaiman. Neil Golden Compass. Neil Gaiman. No. The Sand. Right. No. The Sandman. Sand Sandman. Sorry. Sandman and. I'm thinking of um, other. Neverwhere. Oh, it sounded after you said Neil Gaiman, it sounded like you said Anne Frank. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> gosh. That that so would be amazing. There's, the authors, there's a whole bunch of fantasy, new fantasy novels that I haven't read by Brandon and, and Brandon um, Sanderson and Patrick Rothfuss and people like that, and I'm told they're going to end up being my favorites. Ooh. But of what I have read, I do really like George R. R. Martin. The books there are much better than the show. I don't really care for the show. I'll take the hits. I don't care. Don't um, we don't? So, um, yeah, I'm like. And I think Robert Jordan. Also, who did Wheel of Time, that series. Uh, yeah, he's phenomenal, although he repeats himself a lot. He doesn't edit, uh, which is an issue. Yeah. And Douglas Adams, I guess that's more sci-fi, actually. He, yeah, yeah, he'd be more sci-fi, but yeah, he's good. We, do you have any, like, uh, do you have any, like... You know who else? Do you know who else? This is going to be a wild one. Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman, who wrote a fantasy series based on... Uh, it's called Dragonlance, Ooh. and it originated at, from their D and D campaign. D and this was written decades ago, and uh, nice. <laughs> Richie is not coming. Um, but like, the first three books they adapted it into the first three books called Chronicles, and you know it's still good after that. But those first three books that are the Chronicles trilogy. Mm -hmm. Some of the is, best stuff so I've ever read. are the there's dra I assume there's dragons in there. Uh, it's called Dragon Land, right? Or no? Yeah, there. I don't want to say it. Okay, because we there's so <laughs> many. Are there really, dragons? I mean, that would Dragonlands, be crazy right? if there wasn't. I feel yeah. like damn. Um, because right. we were we were researching dragons too, and apparently there's like different. Uh, Every culture has, has some form of a dragon, which is yeah, cool. Right? Isn't that interesting? Like Eskimos have. A drag, like they came up with dragons too. Yeah. Like, yeah, right. everybody. So you're like, what was that about? Like, but, what, what manatee was the dragon? I think yeah. snakes there's, or lizards, maybe. Yeah, there's some sociologists who think that humans, like, 
in every culture have some form of what was it called like fear of snakes basically oh yeah it's like across cultures and they they find yeah. it so because yeah. you like yeah you the thing you're scared of becomes a symbol of power or you like mystify it yeah or whatever right. so the, you know like well, girls you know i've always thought about it and i don't know that this is necessarily the case because i feel like we would have heard about it but if all those ancient cultures maybe stumbled across dinosaur fossils that's a, like that's a giant. That was another. That's a theory thing. too. That's, yeah. That they, they basically are dragons, except bird-like ones now, right? Um, yeah. They so put. I, I don't know. That might be it. They put like different. There's a thing that they might have put different. They might have found different fossils and just like connected. Yeah, they didn't know how to assemble them, them either. If you didn't know anything, it we're was, right. Um, a dinosaur fossil. Then you were like, whoa, that's either a dead something now or something that existed. Yeah. A giant creature. Yeah. Crazy yeah. wild. Do you so? Do you yeah. have any like, like almost like movies that are so bad that they're good that they're bad? Like, uh, we we watched uh, Never Ending Story. Have you ever seen that, that? movie? Okay, we t- I think we we guys t- talked about Never Ending Story on one of the other ones. I hadn't oh, seen it. Well, He'd never that's seen. Another one of my favorite fantasy books. Books. Yeah. By Michael Hand. The book is really great. The first movie which is thoroughly enjoyable and amazing, and I love. Uh, it's only the first half of the book. Yeah. And then the sequel is not, it then like takes things from the second half of the book, but it's not related at all. They never really made the second half of the book. Um, oh. But the book is really still. Yeah. In the, in the middle, when he calls out her name, uh, that's the middle of the book. And he, and from there when he gets into Fantasia he drops in the middle of a desert and it's like crazy lion with multicolor fire uh like hair, a dragon rain, a lion dragon him. and it goes from there the second half of the book is his adventure through Fantasia to get to the ivory tower and he meets up with a train and they go on and you know so it's a whole thing uh that was never made yeah the, apparently he sued the Hmm. He sued like uh, George Lucas and or did George the, Lucas? yeah the authors yeah. sued the no, filmmakers. Wait, not George. Uh, wow, I'm thinking really? of Leg- I'm thinking of. Uh, it was uh, pretty well based on the first half of the book. Why did you see that? He hated he yeah they showed the I don't know because he's like a German writer who's like I guess wanted it to be a lot more understated. Yeah. So they showed him the film and he hated it. The ending yeah. also is totally untrue to the book because like Falcor comes into the real world. And, and chases is chasing the bullies. The, chases the bullies. Yeah, and so like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. so he called but, it like schmaltz. And I think, and the acting is terrible in the, throughout the movie. I have to say, if you, how, when was the last time you saw it? Because you know, it's actually it's, forever. I hadn't seen it. I hadn't seen it for. I hadn't seen it. Well, no, but I still like. I watched it, and I was like, oh, I remember. Like, I was obsessed with that movie, and I made my mom make me uh, the head, the child like empress, like the headdress. Because you can just buy, like, so I was like, I really yeah. want to play Child Like Empress. I used to, she just, she made me two yeah. necklaces that were too small to go over my head. You know, because they were like, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, and, and like, yep, she's like, yep. Yeah. Uh, and I loved that movie, and I loved, yeah, Falcor. I was, like, obsessed with him. I was like, I want to ride on Falcor. Because he's yeah. the best. He's so, he's just like, wouldn't you love to, like, he's wake awesome. up? Yeah, he's Ride on a furry thing so, that's encouraging. Yeah. He's never like worried. He's just like he's <laughs> like you can do it with luck, <laughs> and he never really knows. He's like we'll get there. It's it's pretty close. He's great. In the movie, he looks more like a uh, Asian um, style dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's a luck dragon, which would be Asian. Yeah, an Asian style he, dragon. He has like pearls yeah. on his. Yeah stomach or something his scales are like pearls pearls. yeah yeah they were his design was just so good but they made his head look like a dog you know yeah that's great idea yeah Yeah. it was really the movie was great yeah just all this stuff (laughs) also it's so it's so funny because like the swamp of sadness like we've all been like and the the what is it our text like the horse like I was like, yeah. damn, they swung that on you real quick. Like, all of it, like, yeah, Vortex, you have to move. You have to walk. And, no, that movie's just incredible, yeah. man. Whatever. Yeah, the no, it's, it's. The movie's really, really great. Yeah, it's, it's so. Ariel, someone on Twitch has asked. I remember, you know, I read it when I was young, so maybe I'm wrong. Do but. you flex biceps? So, oh, 
Oh, someone on Twitch asked me to flex my biceps. This is my bad one, too. Yeah, you gotta raise it up a little. So, there, there you go, go. Twitch. Nice. <laughs> 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 yes. Uh, that's for you, Twitch. You better you better uh, subscribe to us now. Yeah. Uh, Twitch, <laughs> Twitch person. <laughs> I'll do the other one if you subscribe. There you go. Um, yeah. Yeah. What, what else? Did you have other, like, 80s childhood fantasy films that you loved? Like, uh, Willow? Labyrinth. Labyrinth. David Bowie's yep. Yeah, yeah, basically anything Jim Henson or so, yeah. Labyrinth, uh, The Dark, Dark Crystal. Crystal. Dark, Dark Crystal! Crystal. Dark Crystal. Dark Crystal. Dark Crystal. Yeah. Uh. Phenomenal. Uh, movies like that, yeah. Um, I'm, yeah. Trying to, I'm sure there are others that I'm yeah. forgetting. Yeah. The Dark Crystal uh, is so good. But, boy, you know, more than that, like, starting in the 90s, uh, you know, I was still, you know, and from when I was young, so not young, uh, you know, I was very rooted in fantasy because I was big into Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, that's a whole nother, like, untapped realm. Did you, like, yeah. LARP at all? Did you, is that part so, of it? Yeah, yeah, I was in a, a couple LARP games, but mostly it was tabletop. What, can yeah. you give us, like, a... A scenario? Quick, a, a, like, quick sum. I know you can't do a quick summary, you but that's You want to hear about why. his campaign? Yeah. yeah. About Dungeons and Dragons. She wants to know, that's like an what was either, thing. all right, what was one time when you, like, really needed, like, a, a perfect roll, like, you had to roll 20, and you did? All right, well, this is crazy. So, We're this here. is Dungeons and Dragons. There's another... Uh, Wizards of the Coast group, White Wolf. They did Vampire the Masquerade, Werewolf. Those are modern day, uh, role, uh, you know, role playing games. And in one of those, we were trying to like beat the DM in his own own campaign accidentally. Anyway, we had to construct a nuke, and it took so many rolls uh, with like an extra side, did like this and the other, and like he made it almost impossible, and we just got super lucky. And that was a decision that changed the entire course of the campaign. So that was a really interesting thing. It did indeed, I don't remember, but I will say that uh, in answering your question, Ariel, it's like living in a fantasy world because, you know, you're in fantasy medieval times and and you are these people and, you know, I'm an actor, go figure, I like it. And, uh, you, and you go and you, pl you play through a campaign and you, you are these people and it's just great. I love that. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I need to get... Yeah, I've, I've known people who, like, have been deep in dun Dungeons & Dragons, and, like, I'm, like, I just want to be, like, can I watch? Can I, can I, like, because I feel like I don't know enough about it to, like, you know, they're, like, more advanced or whatever. No, you just, nah, you can, you can just hop, just hop you in. Just, You'd be great at it. That's the way to do is jump in, man. You'll get it right away. I mean, we do this show. Yeah. You can definitely, yeah, you could definitely do okay, it. Okay, next time, I know Matt plays, and I know... I, think, I know Preston plays. I think too. our friend Lex has yeah, a game been, too. Ooh. Recently, finally, I've been like, I've been like, oh man, it'd be cool to be in a game. Like, I gotta start looking for people who are different. Ooh, well maybe we can, we can start. Yeah. Oh my god, we should have a giant. We should have done like, like, like a giant die that you have to roll with your whole lot. Like, the yeah. We're, we'll we'll definitely. Want, you can play. You know, if you want, you can play something close to you. Like, I like if you were gonna. Maybe you want to be like uh, someone who's a circus performer because that was all there back then, you know, like yeah. the aerials and stuff. But you're really like what well, a rogue assassin or thief, maybe. Maybe she's a thief. Moonlight That's is awesome. a thief to make money. Like you know, you can do all of that. It's like it's like you know, it's like you. Yeah, you're living it's great. It's a game, but yeah. like your friend makes up the rules as you play it. Oh, that's my life. Okay, great. I'm in. Let's do this. Dungeons and Dragons. Up, I guess the rules are set, yeah. the same. Your friend makes up kind of the challenge and the plot. Of yeah. The game. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. And you play it, it's long, you know, it's long. It's ongoing. You don't usually do a one-off, but that's yes. it. Unless it's planned that way. But it goes until for, forever. For yeah. yeah. It's yeah. just like the never-ending story. Oh, yeah. We didn't even talk about, like, cosmic horror is, like, sort of fantasy as well. But horror, I guess, right. is, like... Its own genre, yeah, subgenre of fantasy. In line with what we're saying, so Lovecraft, Call of Cthulhu, they made a role playing game oh. that was around during, yeah, Call of Cthulhu. So you could do that too. Let's, uh, <laughs> hang on. Re Rhiannon wanted to yeah. go live with I've, us real I've, quick. I've heard the chop of. Uh, yeah, and I yeah, think. Yeah. If this was I just. I just. I see that she's like, yeah. she got her she got her on. So let's let's okay. get her on. Let's, let's yeah, get yeah, you yeah, to fine. the debate. Let's get Rhiannon on. 
And right. yes. Thanks for okay. joining us, Dave. All right, Rhiannon, we're going to get you on right now. She's going to go. She's, she said she's dressed up, too. Woo! No, I knew mean, she's got dinosaur bones to show us. Ooh, that would be cool, too. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, my gosh. This is amazing! <laughs> she has a dinosaur! Ah! Yay! <laughs> That's so cool. And it's so cool <laughs> with the with the wood that like Oh my gosh. Hello. Oh wow. Who is this? This is my pet. Uh, <laughs> it's your pet. You we're wondering where the myths of dinosaurs and, and dragons came from around the world and the fact is that they still walk among us. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh. I actually got this. This is a very, very loyal dinosaur. He has lost one of his horns in a battle defending my honor. Oh my goodness, so he's so a- he is now a duotops. A duo, I was gonna say a bi, a biceratops. <laughs> a biceratops, that's so much better. He's a biceratops. Ah. Uh. And uh, yes, I actually, I was given this this familiar as a gift from the pirates. This is a true story. Mm. So, of course, there are pirates. Both of you know this. Yeah, very well. of course. And uh, they're not always what they are mythically known to be at the same time. But this dinosaur came from a, a pirate ship, and I used to carry him around Bushwick, and because he is basically about the size of a tiny dog, yes. there were people that truly did double takes and even refused to get in Ubers with me when they saw, they saw my dinosaur That's sitting amazing. next to me, which I just thought was fantastic. That's fantastic. They so they thought it was a tiny dragon. Yeah, so, well, he, I mean, he is. Or yes. they are. Don't don't assume. Don't assume. Don't assume. They you are. always have to. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's aren't, amazing. Yeah, dinosaurs aren't they actually hermaphroditic according to Jurassic Park? Oh, sure they are. Yeah. They yeah. Are. <laughs> Not all of them, I would imagine, but well, they can they can change. Yeah, this that's, one has to be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's how the raptors breathe. It's no choice. He sure. doesn't have a partner. Yeah, I'm working oh, on that. You're, I'm yeah, if anyone out there right. has another and dinosaur, has a partner dinosaur, there must be another biceratops somewhere out mm -hmm. there, right? We actually have a very, we have a very tiny, we have a very tiny creature. Yeah. Should I get him? What? We have a very tiny. Dragon. Oh, we have a little dragon. Yeah. Give me, give me one. <laughs> I'm gonna dragon. swim down into the depths and, and fish him okay, out. Okay, I'm gonna get the little dragon. Um, yeah, so, I have other things to show you too. I, I I have a whole shelf full of magical things that I've gathered on my look at your mantle. My, my journeys on uh yes, this is actually a very old stone wall behind me. Wow. I'm kind of in a, a castle of sorts. Nice, it looks yeah. great. What are you? Are you like a queen? Are you a queen or princess? I am a queen. Okay. My name is Rand, and then. No, I am a queen. Rhiannon, <laughs> the queen of what's the I name of? I actually am a what's that? What's the name of your castle? Your kingdom. Uh, it is called your Edgemore. 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 I love that. Nice. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, I have to say quickly there. Um. <laughs> so you got a buzz. Yes. So there's our three-headed dragon. Our three. Yeah. So this is our. That's. Wonderfully horrifying. Yeah, and he, uh, they used to have like some wings, Cerberus. and I think, yeah, the wings are at the, they went uh, to eat some candy, and the wings uh, are at the bottom of that candy jar somewhere. Yes. But yeah. Yeah, this is a dragon that guards oh, our, our candy box. You what's the, what's oh, it has like, two tails. Like, oh yeah, two tails. Little wings? Yeah, it had, are, it had wings like right here. Yeah. Yeah. So. Those little ones that you see on sometimes on creatures like that that don't seem to possibly be able to bear their weight. Yeah. Yep. Like mine. Yeah. Like it. Yeah. Doctor Wires. Yes, like yours. Some little. Exactly. Yeah, a little vis vestigial. <laughs> vestigial wings. wings. Work when you waggle. 
your tail like that. Yeah. yeah. That's it. I can just hover, I just hover it like a couple inches off the ground. That's all it's good yeah. for. Yeah. But th this hover, yeah. this dragon might be a good mate for yours because they're both missing a couple of things. Both, you know, have some injuries. That's right. <laughs> and uh yeah, and this one has I mean that one has two horns. This one has three heads. Yeah. They can Well, this one has six horns then. Oh yeah. This one has a lot. Oh, it has many horns. There's a lot going on here. Yeah. You get real close. There is a lot wow. going on there. Wow. <laughs> well, show us some of I'd love for them to meet. Yeah. yeah. And just see, you know, if there's sparks, if there's chemistry, like, yeah. Slime. There's if there's fire. Yeah. Oh, I was I was going to yeah. ask can you show us some of your other treasures? Okay. Let me, let me see what okay. other treasures okay. I have to show you. Um, what a great guest spot. Yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> this is something about, about crystals. Her, her velvet dress. This is, uh... Oh, yeah, because I was like, show us your crystal. It's, not, it's a Ooh. light crystal as opposed to the dark crystals, oh, you know, okay. that you find in the core nice. of the earth. Nice. Uh, this one came from the magical land of Houston. Oh, my goodness, <laughs> Houston. I've heard of Houston. I've heard of Houston. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a very storied place. Um, there are larger than life creatures and humans there, and you have to be careful where <laughs> yeah. you walk. Yeah. yeah, you might you might get you might get trod you trod upon. Yeah, and this is a this is a crab. From oh my goodness! Crab Nebula. <laughs> oh wow! I mean, that's a joke, clearly, but um, space crab. I actually did just. Recently, I just transformed into a mermaid for the first time ever, which, I mean, I, I don't know why I waited so long, honestly. I love transforming. I you love the sea. I've been many forms. I'm, I'm a shapeshifter of sorts. Mm -hmm. And I became a, a siren a while ago on the pirate ship. I became the bilge siren, mm -hmm. and I sing in the belly of this ship and try to warn people. You know, sirens have this this terrible reputation of, of yeah. sometimes of being these evil creatures that are luring sailors to their deaths and such. The truth is that sometimes they're the ones trying to warn the sailors that they're about to hit something, oh, and they're trying to let them know, like, hello, people, wake up, you know? Oh, yeah, that's absolutely, and that's... that's sirens use their voice for different purposes, so... You know, it's it really pisses me off to be yeah. honest. But um, yeah, we have to clear their name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, what I, that's part of what I'm doing. I'm on this mission. Yeah. But yeah. I recently did uh, transform into a, a mermaid for the first time, and I I do have my oh. tail here. Oh my goodness! I'm not wearing it. There's a. Uh, you know, I just have to keep I have to keep these things near me, so that. You know, they stay part of me, and that's when that's when I got the the crab. The crab, yeah. oh, love that. Great crab. I tried to keep alive, but you know, without water. <laughs> no. Yeah, it'll it'll be like um, it'll be like uh, Artex. It'll come back to life in 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 Fantasia. Oh yeah, Artex does come back to life. Yeah, again. yeah, yeah. Yes, I want to make sure that anyone watching doesn't think that I actually like walked away with a live crab and let it die on my bed. So I didn't do that. No, I found this beautiful shell, and um, mm -hmm. I am a, a in my human form. I'm a cancer, so I, I really oh, love crabs. So love them. I can't even really eat them. They're just so beautiful. <laughs> neither can I mean neither, neither can, can I. he, and I don't because that's right. You can't. Allergic, yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. Remember that. Yeah. I respect them too much. Yeah. Yes. Because they will kill me. Yeah. Yep. Kill the you. danger. The danger. <laughs> Ross, have respect for that, which will kill you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So, um, is there any? Is there anything that you would like to? Ooh, the crab is going back. That you would back. like to, to say? I mean, other than clearing the sirens. Clearing the sirens. Name. name. Is there anything uh, that you would like to just like proclaim? Um, about about fantasy or yeah, any you know. queenly proclamations. Yeah, I'm so glad that you asked. Um, you know, I I did want to share from the the depths of my heart. I know I look a bit dark right now. I like to ride the line in the waves between the darkness and the light. So that's 
the reality for all of us and you know expressing our, our dark sides can be very liberating and, and cathartic at moments but yes. the truth is that this world that we pretend is the only reality sometimes it's so surreal mm. and it is not possible that it lasts in this form mm -hmm. so I feel very strongly that it's uh, it's important for people to realize just how deeply important fantasy is because it gives us the ability to imagine the worlds that we want to create and live in together. Mm -hmm. And, you know, aside from allowing us, it's not just something that allows us to escape into other worlds. It allows us to explore other worlds that we create that truly exist and to bring back parts of those worlds with us, right? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I love a lot of the movies that you're talking about and the books that you're talking about. I have a lot of my favorites as well, and favorite characters like Miracle Max, for instance. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah. My biggest decree and message really to share tonight is um, that my favorite fantasy movies and books are the ones that people out there are creating right now. Mm -hmm. And please continue to do so and imagine the world that you want to see because we are creating it every day and fantasy is reality and reality is fantasy and it really has such a deeply important part in our culture and, and dressing up with you with my dear dear friends it really means so much to me oh. i i wouldn't be myself in any form if i didn't get to do this and and bring out my pets and show them to you too. So <laughs> oh, thank you, David, for that. <laughs> thank you. Oh, this is such a it is such an honor to have you to have you, you join us. us. Yeah. And and we will continue actually every every Wednesday this this month we'll be bringing a different aspect of a uh, of fantasy. This is our lighter fantasy and we're going to be going to Things are going to get a little darker. Going to get a little dark later this month. Mystical. Yeah. Re yeah, well, Richard has it. Reality is scarier than fantasy right yeah. now. <laughs> well, we, we're getting a little, a little, yeah, dark, magical, witchy as it gets closer to the, to the, the 31st, so. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'll, I'll come back then and join you. This we is would so love to have you back. Oh, Excellent. this is going to be, I'm looking at this, it's going to be a great uh, frame or like a, pro, like profile. This, this split screen here. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a great, like. Good. We're looking gorgeous here. All, all, all three of us. <laughs> three yeah, I'm like, we're going to use right this. <laughs> and yeah. Then, and her pet, her uh, pet we will, well. you can, you can watch the rest back on, uh, on Twitch later. Yeah, or on Instagram TV, because we'll, we'll have, have it up there. I have to go check out what those, those people that claim their living reality are doing. With yes. Our other I, reality or other world for a moment. And then, um, uh, and then I can get back to magicking. Yes. Well, mm -hmm. We will here. We'll send. We'll send you. We'll send you off with oh, a. Gonna, uh, here, can you? Yeah. You're gonna bubble her out. We'll uh, send you off with a. A watery. Is that working? I know it is. It's just charging. It's charging. There we go. Okay. <gasps> Bubbles. Yes. Goodbye. See you soon. I love you. Love you. There we go. And that was Queen Rhiannon. Queen Rhiannon, yes. Now, just, just now there's just soap all over the all over the keyboard here. Yeah. Yes. Yes, there is. It's sudsy. Yeah, we hadn't talked about the Princess Bride yet. No, which is uh which is I think undoubtedly the uh, perhaps inconceivable the best. Inconceivable that we haven't talked about it. <laughs> the best eighties uh, fantasy film. Um, yeah, Miracle Max, yeah. phenomenal character. Pretty much everyone Which, in that story. Who's kind of based on. off of the characters in the in the never ending yes. is kind of, I feel like he's making fun of the characters in the never ending yes. story. The never ending story film came out in eighty five. Whereas uh Arlen's got a little sudsy. Off, a little sudsy. <laughs> okay, there we go. Whereas uh The Princess Bride came out in eighty seven. So definitely in the Princess Bride there was some some satire of the never ending story. Yeah. And of Willow, and of a couple other things. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's an incredibly cool. My name is Inigo well. Montoya. You kill my father. Prepare to die. <laughs> um, yeah. The six-fingered man. 
No, and it's it's super lighthearted. Yeah. So that movie, by the way, the uh, the irony being that the the Princess Bride it did okay when it came out. It like, I think it cost fifteen million to make. They said, and it made like thirty million, and so it was like modest box office yeah. success. It was like fine, but like a bunch of other eighties movies were coming out around then, and then like. When it got released to home video, it be, like became a cult classic, like over time. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then apparently there was a somebody like Judd Apatow or somebody did like a table read of it like a couple of years ago. Dave probably heard about this, um, and they had Fred Savage reprise his role as the son. Oh yeah, he's Savage. like he's like grandpa. I don't. I'm. I don't. This yeah. story has kissing. Gross. And they had. I believe the grandpa, the guy who played the grandpa, is dead. But, uh, <gasps> no. I mean, I remember, I think I remember when he passed away. But then, uh, the original, I think, director, or maybe it was the original writer, played the grandpa. And they were at that, like, table read. And there was, there was talk around that time of doing a remake, and the mm. internet was furious. And so, and, like, basically, oh, like, God. convinced the studio not to do it. Oh, yeah, because you can't remake that. But I remember it the first it's, time... They remade Bully Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, which was like it was a terrible idea. Yeah. Um they as, should as, not good as, Johnny, as good as Johnny as good as Johnny Depp is. You know, Gene Wilder yeah. that was a Gene Wilder's thing. You know? And so yeah. hopefully they never do remake the Princess Bride. Because it is a It's so film. good. And it is kind of modern to like yeah. It, it it's it's like got it's timeless. Sorry, that's it's, what I meant to say. Yeah, it's very self aware. But it yeah. uses that same device of like as someone reading the story while the story is happening. Yeah, I think, well. which I think that's in the never ending story. But which, I love that kid. That kid who played, uh, here's drink with, oh no! Like, but I, but built I built up an immunity. I built up an immunity. Yes. I put poison in both my drinks. Both, you put poison in both the drinks. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah. How are we doing on time? Oh, we got about 15 minutes yes. left in this session. Uh, Dr. Wires the Unicorn is like, there's, there's, there's a there's Twitch some, viewer who, yeah. who has proposed some kind of t-shirt challenge. Yeah. Which, who asked me to get out a t-shirt from my closet, which I'm a mermaid. I mean, the, like, I don't really need t-shirts cause I got, I, I, I theorize that it involves you ripping a t-shirt in half or something like that because I okay. wanted to see your biceps first to know that you're okay. strong. It's like a ch- TikTok challenge maybe. I don't know. It's probably a TikTok challenge. Yeah. Uh, but I want to make their fantasy come true, so, you know, they right. did subscribe to us. So I know, we'll you. see if we can dig up a, a t-shirt around here somewhere. Yeah. One normal shirt. Yes. Um, wait, so you were, you were saying about the, the, where you came from before, before oh, long amazing ago. guests came yeah, on. Long, our long ago. Do you yeah. want to finish that? I was saying that we, uh. What did we do? We greased the lens? Yeah, we, we greased we the lens like with bubbles. Out. I'm going to try to clean without uh, making my... My I don't finger. think your hands is gonna absorb it. Let me use my Here. let me use my unicorn okay. hide. Did that do it? No, we're gonna have to. Oh, because it got weird. humid. It got humid. It's okay. Oh, we're humid in here. It's humid. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, let's let's continue. I'll I'll tell you. Uh, yeah. So yeah, the deal was uh, they they think that like when they the reports of unicorns were mostly just people seeing rhinoceroses. Um, yeah. And then reporting back on them, and so. The description or lack of description or the fact that like how would you describe a rhinoceros to somebody who's never seen a rhinoceros you'd be like well it's on four legs it, yeah it's big like well because marco polo said that uh the horn was was black and and red and white or something yeah he which just, i mean he could have been colorblind i don't think that was marco, was marco yeah it was polo? marco polo yeah. so he just like lied. columbus was the one who said about the mermaids and yeah. then okay. marco polo was the one who was like, yeah, these unicorns, they're like disgusting. They lay in the mud yes. all day <laughs> and they look like elephants. He said their feet look like elephants. Oh, he did. So he at least reported they kind of look like elephants. But yeah, he probably was just seeing, but he didn't know they were even called rhinoceros and they weren't. They were called something else back then, probably. But, uh, Horn. I yeah, I mean, he couldn't he... even communicate with the natives where he was. Well, he was... He's, he's, he's like, they must come from India, which was like a magical foreign land. He's like, this. They must know what they are over there. Well, no, there's a theory too that uh, that was a different creature, right? That was, uh, yeah, that was, that was uh, the the Greeks originally when they went to Persia, they saw statues of like elephants uh, and rhinoceroses or whatever, and they were like, oh, 
where are those from? And the Persians were like, you know, like over to the east. <laughs> so they were like, all right. I guess that's what the horses look like over there. Um, yeah. Anyway, so they, same thing. They just assumed that rhinoceroses looked like horses. A bunch of artists drew them as horses with horns because they were like, sure. There's a bunch yeah. of great medieval art. Maybe we'll, we'll bring, we'll load some of it up for the next yeah. uh, segment after this. Although. Of like people. Like a medieval artist trying to draw a clam who had never seen a clam before, and it's just a weird little circle with kind of a human-like face on it. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, it, yeah, and it, yeah. yeah. So that's where unicorns came from, and then what's the last one that we haven't discussed? Oh, you wanted to, you wanted to talk about fairies. Yeah. The other, the other very popular mythical creature. Yes. Um, so tell us about fairies. Yeah, so fairies... How so all cultures, I think, have, like, a fairy, and it's basically people who are, like, really forgetful, um, that, you know, like, oh, you, like, the fairies. yeah, like, you forget your, uh, your giant key to the cat, I was gonna say your car keys, but, like, your, your, your castle keys or whatever, and you're, like, oh, my God, a fairy must have, like, taken it, mm -hmm. um, yeah, when you, like, you eat, you, like, eat all the, yeah, yeah, you're like, oh, it's a, it was all the cupcakes. It's you're like, it you're was a fairy. You're eating all the cupcakes, and then you're like, it was a fairy. Like, um, a also, fate, if your baby sweets. gets lost and <laughs> autistic, replaced with an autistic baby. Uh, they did claim that the fairies were kidnapping babies. Yeah, but it, and like replacing too. them with like crappier one babies. Or oh, something. is that it? You're like, oh, a this is this is a fairy. It is not actually my baby. Yeah, or like yeah. what your wife like wife swap. Like they would take your wife to try and like mate. Her with because like apparently female fairies had trouble like giving birth I guess because they're so tiny, um, <laughs> you would just, you know so they were like let's get a human. I hope their babies are proportional. So they would like steal someone's wife and then they would try and like have her be a surrogate and they would replace her with like a, a crappier version of herself. So like if your wife stopped loving you or you know making so when your wife her. tried to divorce you you'd be like she's not actually my original she's wife a, it's a, she's a changeling she's a changeling yeah uh um, yes they're scandinavian and, and like well the fairies are somewhat different right and some cultures have multiple kinds of fairies i think all, some, some of them cultures are very have, large like, some are large yeah. some are really aggressive and mean yeah and some and some will clean you. your house called brownies yes uh which is i think the girl scouts that's the name are of the named girl after scouts. one is named after but yeah the other. that's like some uh I guess they're like German or like maybe it's Nordic like yeah. fairies. Um, and there are brownies who will clean your house if you leave food out for them. There were these five photos that were taken by some British girls. Richard, uh, you can tell us about if you have specifics on the Scandinavian fairies. Yeah. You can uh, you can you can tell us about them. We'll we don't want you to get cut off, so we'll check in after I, the break. Yeah. So I'm going to show you these photos. Right? Yeah, show so us these, these photos. These girls took these in like the 18, 1880, late 1800s, I think. Late 1800s. Yeah. So, let me see. Yeah. So, there's the first wait, one. Wait, it's off. Ooh, okay. Hold it like. Oh, God. Wait, I can see it. Okay. Here. I got the angle. Wait, so you show that. the top one first. Yeah. Okay, that one. Okay, now. Where she has the wizard's hat. Where'd she get that cool hat? Okay, now that one. Okay. This lady with a bunch of fairies. They're all, they're two girls. They're two, like, So these were children. published in, like, British tabloids. Because Sir Arthur Conan, Conan Doyle. Doyle was, wait, 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 wait for the last one. Because that's the, oh, okay. that's a special one. All right. I don't want to mess There we go. So these, right, they were, yeah. I'm trying to hold them really close so that you can Just see. Just clearly, looking clearly photoshopped. Well, Chicks hanging out with fairies. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, although he was a great detective, he was not a great paranormal detective. He became obsessed with these, and he got them published. And the girls were like, oh my god, we were just, I mean, in their heads, because they didn't admit to this until, like, uh, oh, they admitted to this in the late 1800s, I believe. And this was, like, more mid-1800s. Like, one of them confessed all these things, that they were... They cut out the fairies from a, like a little book, and they they pinned them to like the trees or the bushes with like little hat pins. Um, so yeah. they were stage photos. Yeah, they're just like quite cut obviously. Out. However, the last one, 
one. The fifth one, this they claim, and the fifth okay. photograph, though, because there's four of them, the fifth one, or there's five of them, the fifth one, this one. I can't really tell what's going on there. Is it upside down? No. Um, there's, there's the fairy, and there's like a... What is happening? I can't... There's uh, this like cobweb, and there's sort of like like the cobweb. They they said that they didn't see, and they only saw it when they developed the photos later. And they swear like that that photo, they can't explain like what that cobweb situation is. So even though they admitted to like all the four of them being fake and staged, it's like late this 1800s, one. I mean. They had to go in a dark room and like develop negatives with like the yeah. So they said that the that the cobweb appeared like later. They just like smeared some developer on there. It's like a fingerprint. No, but the thing is, when they admitted to when they admitted to like the rest of them being fake, they were like, "This really sucked. We were just playing around. We thought it would be cute. We were taking some cute selfies, Mm -hmm. but like it turned into a whole thing, and it that like became our whole life. We were like the fairy girls and." You know, they were like, we really didn't want this. And so they could have just, like, denounced all of it. They were like, okay, but the last one, though, like, we really can't explain it. Like, that one is real. Yeah. Put your head down. I can't say. Yeah, put your head. Yeah. Just head down and forward. Like, to the camera, down and forward. Mm-hmm. There we go. Ah! He's a unicorn. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty much. Yep. Trying to stuff animal. It's quite hot. Yeah, it's, it's sexy. It's a, it's a sexy unicorn. But yeah, it's, uh, unicorns though, people when they when they couldn't like find them, they said that they were. There was a heavy trade in narwhal horns in the in like Europe, but primarily in uh, like England, in the I guess like the sixteen hundreds forward. Or whatever. Yeah, it's basically as soon as, I think narwhals live in the North Sea, so they had them. And yeah, so, which like, is crazy that they're not a mythical creature. Like, I would have seen the narwhal and been like, yo, there's a whale with yeah, a freaking there's a, there's horn. A sea, there's a sea unicorn. Yeah. So it's ridiculous. That's actually, some people think that unicorn, if a narwhal were to breed with a horse, then you could have a sea. Oh, unicorn. let's get it to happen. <laughs> we need them to fall in love. I'll talk to the manatees. I'll see what we can, you okay. know. Okay, it'd be a good children's book. Yeah, so they, uh, there was like, sadly for the narwhals, but I guess they survived. They didn't get hunted to extinction. Um, but yeah, they were getting like killed nonstop because people would sell narwhal horns. And so it was a lot of like the sailors or whatever who actually had seen narwhals and they knew what they were. So they'd kill them and they'd come back and be like, yeah, I uh, saw a unicorn on this island while I was like out at sea. And so yeah, the... I mean, kind of like uh, they would, but they would. They it was would used sell for medicinal horns. purposes, or it was used to like. They would sell you. the horns to people who had never horns. seen them. Some people would grind the horns up and make like medicine oh. out of it. What did they? Oh, they thought it cured poison too. So they would make cups. They would drink for, out of yeah. it, and they would yeah. make cups out of unicorn horns and drink out of it. Yeah, which is infuriating. I like, know yeah, poaching. But also, when well, not people, you, I'm not a real creature, but so poaching narwhals. <laughs> when people making cups out of their horns. When people like couldn't find unicorns they would they would say that it was because they were like secretive creatures and they they only liked virgins and if there was a virgin uh they would put their head on her lap and go to sleep yes but then they were like there's no virgins in our culture so we clearly can't catch one well it's just the idea of purity i guess that the the unicorn is so as you can see like fluffy white texture and sparkliness they're very you're fluffy white they're always like yeah they always like draw them as artists like they're white or whatever they're like very pure they're like prancing on clouds and so they're yeah. like only yeah only a virgin can like live in the corn yeah um so yeah so yeah so that's that's, the, the that's like the history of all the the main players of the mythological creatures um let's take a little break and then when we come back we'll just we'll get deep deep into those uh, 80s fantasy movies. All right, and we'll go for the the, the, the switch the for switch the Twitch follower, follower who has this T-shirt challenge for us. We're gonna go find a T-shirt. We're we'll gonna find it. a T-shirt. We're gonna post this One video, and then we're gonna do some kind of challenge with a T-shirt when we come back. So we'll be back in like five minutes, and we're gonna get a shirt. Yeah. Flatchel. All right. All right. Um, okay. And anybody, anybody who's like going off to watch the vice presidential debate. 
good luck. I think you'll probably be back within five minutes. Yes. So we'll see you. We'll, we'll see you then. We're gonna debate when you need unicorns a break from the debate. versus mermaids. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Well, how about your cocaine problem, unicorn? Yeah. What do you think about that? <laughs> what do you think about that? But unicorn? what do you have to say? Oh my god, we should do that when we come back. We are gonna response, do a debate. The fairies. We're gonna do yeah. a, a a unicorn corn versus mermaid debate, Linda. We'll okay. get one minute. Great. Okay. You have one minute. Uh, we'll get one minute when we come back. So okay. definitely tune in. So we're gonna go get an like, old. We're gonna get an old shirt. For Twitch. Twitchers. And, uh, we'll we'll see be back on Instagram bit. in like five minutes. Bye. Oh, look at just the backdrop from the beginning. I mean. Yeah. Oh my God. Ow.